Hi and welcome. On this video, I'm going to show you what's new in Cubase's 2.6. There are some really cool new features in this update, so let's go and check them out. What I have right here is a 12.9 inch iPad Pro. As you probably already know, since version 2.5, we have full native resolution support in Cubase's and the user interface looks better than ever, really sharp and detailed and fully utilizing the screen real estate of the 12.9 and 10.5 iPad Pros. The first new feature I want to show you is the AU full screen mode. In this mode, supported AU plugins can be displayed in full screen, which gives you an incredible user experience when you're working with plugins that need lots of screen real estate. Let me show you one example. Here I have a project with quite a few instruments loaded. On this channel, I'm using the Moog Model 15 as an AU instrument. This is a pretty amazing synth. Now let's try and open the interface. Well, as you can see, we have the presets right here. We have our catalog of presets. And by clicking this icon, I can bring up the interface. So I can just scroll and check out the entire interface. I can see these nice patch cables. Really, really cool. But the thing is, this interface for this plugin is massive and it would really benefit if we could see more of that. So right now, you can press this icon right here and boom, now we have the full screen mode inside Cubase's 2.6. So now I can see much more of the plugin. As you can see, I can scroll and have a lot of surface to work on. I can take my patch cables, root things, change the filters, see my oscillators right there. I can see the keyboard, everything is right there at my fingertips. So this is a great mode if I want to focus on my sound, I want to do some sound design, I want to focus on the instrument and the interface. Do all my tweaking and then I can go back to the original mode where I can see the interface again. So if I want to make minor changes, this is still there. But now if I want to go and be more detailed, I can go in the interface and I can see a very, very nice view of the instrument like that. Of course, the AU full screen mode is not only for AU instruments, but it's also available for effects. Let me show you. As you can see, I have Pro Q2 on the master bus and I use this as a mastering EQ. So just right there, we have a really high quality EQ like the FabFilter Pro Q2 and we can create mixes. We can even do mastering inside Cubase. That's really amazing. But now let's say I want to use this EQ and sculpt my sound, do some really surgical tuning to my master bus and I want to focus on that. Of course, we still have the original view and this is really great. It still works amazingly. But now when I click the full screen mode, I have a really glorious representation of the Pro Q2. Really, really amazing. And it feels so natural to use. So let me try and um, sculpt the sound of this track. First of all, the filters. Let's enhance the low end. So the full screen works really great if you want to do some really, really intense work with your plugins with something like Pro Q2 that gives you so many options. 
this is an incredible option to have. Of course, there are other instruments that support AU full screen mode. One of them is the free FM Essential by Yamaha, a great FM synthesizer. Again, we have the original view and then we have the full screen view when you can go and edit your operators. Really, really powerful synth. So if you want an FM synth, that's also there and it's supported. In Cubase's 2.6, we also have full support for Rolly's free Noise app. Noise is a free app that gives you a very fresh approach to music making, giving you access to some very cool sounds and drums. It's very unique as you use gestures to control the color of the sound, modulation, the filters, and it allows you to be very expressive. On this track, I've used quite a few instances of noise. We have noise drums and noise melody. Let's take a listen. Of course, noise also supports full screen mode, so let's check out the drums. When I use the instrument in full screen mode, I get the block style view for programming my drum grooves, but in noise melody, I get the amazing Seaboard keyboard. Not only I can use all the gestures and create some really expressive sounds, but I can of course record all of this in Cubasis. Again, the full screen mode really allows you to take advantage of these amazing instruments. Let me show you. change the octave. Of course, when I have something recorded already in Cubase, like here, I can of course play back and I can see exactly the gestures. So everything, every gesture is recorded into Cubase. Of course, we have the sounds view right here, but I can also go to this view that I have settings for every instrument. If you want to make music with noise inside Cubases, you don't need to have any additional hardware. You just download the free noise app from the App Store and you're good to go. However, if you happen to have Rolly hardware, such as a Seaboard block, then you'll be pleased to know that this is fully supported in Cubases using MIDI over Bluetooth. Let me show you how this works. First, you need to turn on your Seaboard block. Then in Cubases, you go Setup, and under MIDI and MIDI over Bluetooth, you click on host. And right there, you will find Seaboard block. You click on it and it's that simple. Now the Seaboard block is connected to Cubases and I can start playing. Not only that, but now the Seaboard block becomes my MIDI controller for other AU instruments as well, like the Moog Model 15. And you will see that with the expression that the Seaboard block gives me, I can control the filters as well. Check it out. So let's try and play along.
In Cubase's 2.6, we also introduce MIDI CC support for AUFX. This way, you can use a hardware CC controller to control parameters for plugins that accept CC messages, such as Tornado from Sugarbytes. So there you go, that's what's new in Cubase's 2.6. Hope you enjoyed this video, have fun with the update, make some great music, and we'll see you on the next one.